Cinema 5D at IBC 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Hedge for Mac, the fastest way to back up media. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And f and bright ideas. Hello, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and I'm here at IBC 2016 at the Canon booth with Yuya Suzuki from Canon Europe. You introduced a very, very nice lens at NAB. It's a zoom lens that has uh, electronic uh, zoom motors, a hand grip, and it's basically laid out for indie filmmaking, documentary style shooters, and it's also a cine lens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this lens, as you know, uh, which has an 18 to 80, and this is equipping the EF mount, which provides, uh, let's say, um, better communication for the EF communication with Cinema EOS camera including the uh, DAA function and uh, some of the function like kind of like uh, uh, adjusting the um, amount of the light on the corner. So we can provide uh, good uh, communication and uh, solution as a cinema use camera. And uh, so this is the first lens which has sub zoom function as EF lens. Yeah, this is a big feature for this lens. Yeah. Yeah, server zoom is something really great that we've been waiting for. And uh, I also know that Canon lenses have great quality, so this is uh, very nice to see too. One big question that is open for many people is it's advertised as a cine lens, but um, there are no hard stops on the focus ring, which makes it very difficult to use with follow focuses and especially remote follow focus units. So why did Canon decide not to put hard stops in a lens that is called the Cine lens and has a lens gear on it? But as you know, like a lot of photo EF lenses has been used with the Cinemaios camera. Then actually many from many customers we have a good and a positive opinion about the DAF function, which provides very fast and accurate, quick AF. So of course uh, we know uh, this kind of comment is coming from market but the, this lens also can provide a quick and a great A function. So to achieve this, actually, so we have a little soft mechanical end for this lens, but also just kind of balance to provide a great A function. Okay, so what you're saying is that uh, in order to get, get very good autofocus, and we know the Canon cameras, especially the newest models, have very good uh, autofocus with the dual pixel autofocusing. So to, to achieve this good autofocus in a lens like that, uh, the only way to achieve that technically is uh, leaving out the hard stops. Yes, yes you are right. Okay. It's, still, uh, it's still a pity for us because, uh, of course, uh, there is a lens gear on it. But as I said, using a follow focus and using a remote follow focus is kind of uh, impossible because you will lose focus as soon as you reach the hard stop. Mm -hmm. um, is Canon planning to uh, introduce other lenses that have hard stops? Do you think there is a possibility to, 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 to merge both worlds? So, well, of course, I cannot say promise anything in the future, but of course we respect, respect this kind of voices from customer. Then, actually, so we have different product lineup already. Although price is expensive, um, a CN7 lens, uh, it's uh, like it's very successful model in the Europe. This lens has a zoom function and also hard make a stop for the focusing. Uh, yeah, so again, so we respect the voice from the market. So we try to improve in the future. Thank you, Yuya-san, for explaining the functionality of the lens. And we're hoping that Canon will introduce uh, a lens with hard stops in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much for the Omnistopia. Thank you very much.